how that you had when you heard the news and that you have right now when I'm asking you this question. So, this is the first time since that 89 season that we have all been together here at the same time. This is the first time. I don't know if any of you guys know that. This is the first time that we've all been I tell you what, it's, it's been a special feeling. Last night we all met at this reception and you all saw the joy. The joy was overwhelming. I hadn't seen Nick probably seen him in so long. He's probably the one that I haven't seen in so long. So it was just really, really a good feeling to see all these guys. What, what was the biggest storyline that we didn't see as fans that you got to see because you were on this team? What, what's kind of the most underrated part about that group of guys? Well, the, the fact that we all liked each other. Uh, we were all, we were a true team. Uh, when you talk about a nucleus, that's what we were. And uh, and it's hard. It's hard to have guys that were as talented as that team uh, uh, to be uh, humble enough to not care who gets the credit. And that's the way we were. You know, we loved each other. We played hard. Uh, we didn't know how to not play hard. You know, we played hard. Practices were just as intense as a game. So you know, we, 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 we loved each other. It was, it was, it was, it was, and so and that shows as we, we all met here last night. It shows that we just you know, care and those feelings came back. And so we, we just enjoyed them all right now. Coach Underwood talked about uh, talks about positionless basketball, and you guys, 30 years ago, were all about the same size. You guys kind of was doing that without the term being used as That's positionless right. basketball. That's right. You're exactly right. In fact, uh, the offense that we used was a flex offense, and that flex offense it allowed guys that you were all in, all in the same position at one point or another or another. So you're exactly right. We were positionless, and uh, so if you played the middle. Yeah, there were times where yes, we didn't switch off a big guy, uh, you know. But if we did switch, I mean, Steve Bardo, Kendall Gill, Larry Smith, those guys could guard a big guy. So you know, we were in that position to do that. But you're exactly right. That's a good observation. Coach Underwood's talked a lot about you know wanting you guys to kind of watch the team and, and get that sense of pride that you were able to do that 30 years ago. What have you seen from this year's team that kind of gives you that pride that, that you were kind of, you know, helping start out this, uh, this tradition of fighting life? Well, you know, I, I live in northeast Georgia. Uh, I'm, I'm in the mountains, and so it's, it's hard to keep up with the Illinois basketball as well as you guys keep up with them. But I, I, I follow them, uh, I, uh, and so I'm getting the, the information later, but I'm reading up after every game. And the thing that I see, Coach Underwood, hey, uh, that I'm really impressed about is that he has put he's, he's put a culture in mind and those kids have bought into it and it takes a while for young kids to buy into a program uh, they have to believe it and, and so going through that process you know that process during the beginning of the season you know they they lost some games but they're good and, and they're learning how to play <laughs> oh man <laughs>